The Journey to Multicellularity The transition from single-celled organisms to multicellular animals represents a monumental leap in the history of life on Earth, spanning billions of years of evolutionary innovation and adaptation. It all began approximately 3.8 billion years ago during Earth's early Archean eon, when the planet was still in its formative stages. At this time, Earth's surface was vastly different from today, with volcanic activity dominating the landscape and a thin, toxic atmosphere. Despite these harsh conditions, the first stirrings of life emerged through a process called abiogenesis, where simple organic molecules assembled into self-replicating entities. These early life forms, likely resembling primitive prokaryotic cells, thrived in the nutrient-rich waters of Earth's ancient oceans. They absorbed energy from chemical reactions and gradually diversified into various forms, each adapted to its specific ecological niche. Over millions of years, these single-celled organisms evolved mechanisms for survival and reproduction, honing their abilities to extract energy from their surroundings and withstand environmental challenges. This period laid the foundation for the subsequent evolution of more complex life forms. Early Earth and the Emergence of Life Life on Earth emerged under extreme conditions vastly different from today's environment. Around 3.8 billion years ago, during the Archean Eon, Earth was still in its infancy, a hot, volcanic landscape with oceans of molten rock and an atmosphere devoid of free oxygen. Yet within this challenging environment, the chemistry of early Earth set the stage for life's origins. Through a series of complex chemical reactions, simple organic molecules gradually formed, driven by energy from sources like volcanic activity and lightning strikes. These organic molecules, including amino acids and nucleotides, assembled into more complex structures, eventually giving rise to the first self-replicating entities. These entities, resembling primitive prokaryotic cells, were capable of harnessing energy from their surroundings and replicating themselves through processes akin to modern-day cellular division. Over time, these early cells diversified and adapted to different environmental niches, laying the groundwork for the vast diversity of life that would follow. The Rise of Single-Celled Organisms For billions of years, life on Earth remained microbial, dominated by single-celled organisms such as bacteria, archaea, and protists. These microscopic life forms inhabited virtually every habitat on the planet, from the deep sea to extreme environments like hot springs and polar ice caps. They developed an astonishing array of metabolic strategies, from photosynthesis to chemosynthesis, allowing them to thrive in diverse and often harsh conditions. The proliferation of single-celled organisms marked a crucial phase in Earth's biological history. Their ability to adapt and evolve rapidly provided the raw material for evolutionary experimentation, driving innovations that would ultimately lead to the emergence of multicellular life forms. Throughout this period, microbial communities played pivotal roles in shaping Earth's atmosphere, oceans, and soil chemistry, fundamentally influencing the planet's habitability and laying the groundwork for more complex forms of life to evolve. The Cambrian Explosion A Burst of Diversity Approximately 540 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, Earth experienced a remarkable burst of evolutionary creativity known as the Cambrian Explosion. This period, spanning tens of millions of years, witnessed an unprecedented diversification of life forms and the emergence of complex multicellular organisms. The oceans, previously dominated by microbial life, became populated with an array of creatures, many of which formed the basis for modern animal phyla. The Cambrian explosion represented a pivotal moment in Earth's history, transforming its oceans from relatively simple ecosystems into complex communities of multicellular organisms. It provided the evolutionary experimentation necessary for the development of diverse body plans, ecological strategies, and adaptive features that laid the groundwork for future evolutionary innovations. This period not only marked the rise of iconic marine creatures like trilobites, brachiopods, and early chordates, but also set the stage for life's colonization of land in subsequent geological eras. Adaptive Radiations and Environmental Influences 
Following the Cambrian explosion, Earth continued to undergo significant environmental changes that shaped the trajectory of life's evolution. Throughout the Paleozoic era, which followed the Cambrian period, Earth experienced multiple cycles of continental drift, climate fluctuations, and mass extinction events. These environmental upheavals exerted selective pressures on organisms, driving adaptive radiations, periods of rapid diversification and speciation among different lineages. One of the most notable adaptive radiations occurred during the Ordovician and Silurian periods, approximately 485 to 420 million years ago. During this time, marine life diversified rapidly, with new species evolving to exploit various ecological niches in oceans that were increasingly stable and nutrient-rich. The evolution of jawless fish, early plants, and terrestrial arthropods during the Silurian period set the stage for life's eventual colonization of land during the subsequent Devonian period. The Rise of Complex Life Forms From Fish to Tetrapods The Devonian period, often referred to as the Age of Fishes, witnessed the evolution of diverse aquatic vertebrates, including jawed fish equipped with fins that facilitated more efficient swimming and navigation. These innovations allowed fish to occupy new ecological roles and exploit previously untapped resources in both freshwater and marine environments. Among the most significant developments of the Devonian period was the emergence of tetrapods, vertebrates with limbs adapted for movement on land. The transition from water to land represented a major evolutionary leap, requiring adaptations such as limbs capable of weight-bearing and breathing apparatus suitable for terrestrial environments. Early tetrapods, such as Acanthostiga and Ichthyostiga, began to explore the margins of lakes and rivers, gradually adapting to life on land. This period marked a critical juncture in the history of life, as vertebrates diversified and colonized terrestrial habitats, paving the way for the emergence of amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals in subsequent geological eras. Mass Extinctions and Evolutionary Resilience Throughout Earth's history, mass extinction events have profoundly shaped the course of evolutionary history by eliminating dominant species and opening ecological niches for new forms of life to emerge. One of the most devastating mass extinctions occurred at the end of the Permian period, approximately 252 million years ago, wiping out an estimated 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. Despite the catastrophic nature of mass extinctions, they also sparked periods of evolutionary innovation and diversification among surviving lineages. The Triassic period that followed the Permian extinction witnessed the rise of new groups of reptiles, including archosaurs and early dinosaurs, which eventually dominated terrestrial ecosystems during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The evolutionary resilience displayed by organisms in the face of mass extinctions underscores the dynamic and adaptive nature of life on Earth, highlighting the role of extinction events in driving evolutionary change and shaping the biodiversity of our planet. The Age of Dinosaurs, Dominance and Extinction the Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs, spanned approximately 180 million years and witnessed the evolution and diversification of these iconic reptiles into a wide array of forms. Dinosaurs dominated terrestrial ecosystems, ranging from small, agile predators to gigantic herbivores and apex predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. Their success and diversity were facilitated by adaptations such as upright posture, efficient respiratory systems, and parental care behaviors. The extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago, marked the end of an era and paved the way for the rise of mammals as the dominant terrestrial vertebrates. The exact cause of the dinosaur extinction, often attributed to a catastrophic asteroid impact and subsequent environmental disruptions, triggered a global ecological reset that profoundly impacted the course of evolutionary history. The Rise of Mammals, Adaptive Radiation and Evolutionary Success Following the extinction of dinosaurs, mammals underwent a period of rapid diversification and adaptive radiation during the Paleogene and Neogene periods. 
mammals evolved diverse ecological adaptations and lifestyles, ranging from small insectivores and herbivores to large carnivores and specialized grazers. The development of characteristics such as warm-bloodedness, fur for insulation, and complex social behaviors enabled mammals to thrive in a wide range of environments, from forests and grasslands to deserts and polar regions. One of the most significant evolutionary innovations among mammals was the development of placental reproduction, which provided offspring with extended periods of gestation and lactation, contributing to their survival and success. This reproductive strategy allowed mammals to give birth to relatively mature young capable of independent locomotion, enhancing their ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions and exploit diverse ecological niches. Human Evolution From Hominins to Homo sapiens The evolution of humans, or Homo sapiens, represents a culmination of millions of years of evolutionary change within the primate lineage. Our evolutionary journey began approximately 6 to 7 million years ago with the divergence of early hominins from other primates in Africa. These early hominins, such as Australopithecus afarensis and Homo habilis, exhibited adaptations for bipedalism and tool use, marking significant milestones in human evolution. The emergence of Homo erectus around 1.9 million years ago represented a major evolutionary breakthrough. With this species demonstrating increased brain size, sophisticated tool-making abilities, and the ability to control fire. These adaptations enabled Homo erectus to expand its range beyond Africa into Asia and Europe, demonstrating remarkable adaptability and resilience in diverse environments. The evolution of Homo sapiens, characterized by our large brain size, complex language capabilities, and cultural innovations, occurred relatively recently within the past 300,000 years. Our species emerged in Africa and subsequently migrated across the globe, adapting to a wide range of environments and developing complex social structures and technological advancements. The cognitive and cultural evolution of Homo sapiens enabled us to thrive as a highly adaptable species, shaping our interactions with the natural world and driving technological, social, and environmental changes on a global scale. Conclusion, the continuing story of life on Earth. The journey from single-celled organisms to complex multicellular life forms, including humans, is a testament to the remarkable adaptability, innovation, and resilience of life on Earth. Over billions of years, organisms have continuously evolved in response to changing environmental conditions, geological events, and ecological interactions. Each chapter in Earth's history, from the emergence of life in ancient oceans to the colonization of land by plants and animals and the rise of humans as a dominant species, has been shaped by evolutionary processes and natural selection. As we look to the future, the ongoing challenges posed by environmental change, habitat loss, and biodiversity loss underscore the importance of understanding and preserving Earth's natural heritage. By studying the evolutionary history of life on Earth, we gain insights into the mechanisms of evolution, the interconnectedness of ecosystems, and the resilience of life in the face of adversity. Through conservation efforts, scientific research, and global cooperation, we can work together to ensure a sustainable future for generations to come and continue unraveling the mysteries of life's extraordinary journey.